The Ryzen 3000 announcement at Computex has caused a storm in the tech community, and so many people seem excited for these brand new CPUs. But why exactly? Well, that is what I'm going over in this video and explaining exactly why these brand new CPUs are so groundbreaking. Starting with the price. Ever since the admitted failure, the FX series of CPUs was for AMD, even though I've debunked that they aren't really as bad as everyone says on this channel before, which I highly recommend you check out those videos. Ever since then, Intel pretty much dominated the CPU market. Things, however, started to change slightly when the first two generations of Ryzen came out because of how cheap they were, and because of the fact that they included a stock cooler unlike Intel CPUs which meant that the overall cost of upgrading to Horizon was less for people because they didn't have to buy an aftermarket cooler with Intel. When it comes to things like gaming, AMD CPUs were far less efficient, instead putting a higher focus on its higher amount of cores, making them rather popular for content creation, streaming, recording, etc. However, now things are greatly changing with Ryzen 3000, because not only are these CPUs still cheap, but also far more efficient than many Intel CPUs for a way lower price. Another reason they're so groundbreaking is PCIe Gen 4. Now, I did a whole video about what it is and why is it important, so I highly recommend you check it out. So even though it won't make a huge difference right now, which means the only thing it launched supporting PCIe Gen 4 being a handful of brand new NVMEs, over time, when graphics cards from both sides will start using PCIe 4.0, it is going to become an important factor in improving performance. And it's something that no Intel CPUs right now can do. A final reason why people are so excited for it is one that it doesn't really do much in the grand scale of things, but it is still very exciting to all the tech geeks out there. And that is the fact that the new Ryzen 3000 CPUs use a 7 nanometer architecture, something that Intel still hasn't been able to do, despite them being pretty on point when it comes to Moore's Law. But you benefit from that too, because the smaller architecture causes the power consumption to go down greatly, which means you have to spend less money on a PSU, or you have more space to overclock, and the speed and efficiency is greatly increased by the smaller architecture as well. But anyway, let me know what you think of Ryzen 3000 down below. I'm definitely excited, I'm definitely getting one, and I'll be definitely making more videos about it on this channel. I would like to give a big shout out to my Patreon Kryken. If you want to be shouted out in my videos, then I highly recommend checking out my Patreon. And I now even offer YouTube channel reviews for Patreons pledging $5 or more. Those are monthly for as long as you are pledging, and they can really be helpful if you want to grow your channel further. So check it out if you're interested. It helps my channel, and it can also help your channel. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.